Hi, this is 21 Times from PokédexCentral.com, and I'm going to actually bring you kind of a Dragon Majesty set preview. I'm just going to kind of um, give you an idea of some of the better cards in the set. It's not a very big set. It is a mini set. Um, there are more than 70 cards. Um, so this is not like... Um, so, so last year's set, so, so there are a lot of differences between Dragon Majesty and Shining Legends. Um, Shining Legends came out in October, so we actually had a full month to kind of live in the meta for a month to, before, you know, Zoroark GX changed everything. And then, and Zoroark GX was the only card, basically, to come out of Shining Legends. There have been a couple others here and there, um, but by far, I mean, in Zoroark GX, in, in all fairness, is one of the best cards ever made. Um, but it, it's still, it's, it, the, there's no Zoroark GX in this, step, in this set. There also are no universal cards in this set. So there's nothing in here. There are no, no trainer cards that you need to get out of this set. This set is very focused on three types, fire, dragon, and just a little bit of water. Um, as with all um, mini sets, mini release sets, there will be limited pack availability. You won't be able to buy these packs on PTCGO. Um, you'll have to trade for them or you'll have to buy them on eBay or something, which is not a big deal. There's also PTCGO.com um, where you can buy packs. They're not terribly expensive. Um, you know, getting code cards, you know, usually is less than, especially for this set, maybe less, probably be less than 50 cents a code card before too long. Um, because as I said, there's, there's nothing here that's going to just completely set the meta on, overturn the meta, like Zoroark GX. There are a lot of good cards coming out of here that'll make for some good archetypes. Um, if you watch Dark Integral Gaming, you know Donald's videos, um, he's got enough fire archetypes here to last him like a month. <laughs> Between all the different fire types that are going on here, he could easily fill up 10 videos. So, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, as I said, so fire types are definitely the biggest, the biggest focus out of a Dragon Majesty here. Um, there are several new cards, um, so let's also keep in mind that um, that two of the major cards that fire is losing are Volcanian Burning Energy. Uh, Baby Volcanian was great at just setting up your um, put benched Pokemon, put, putting energy on them. Burning Energy was obviously great because you could discard it and it would come right back on. Um, there, the no notable current um, fire Pokemon that will probably... Um, see more use. Turtonator GX with its GX attack. Um, you know, you're going to see a lot of these uh, fire types obviously need uh, fire on them. Energy on them. So Turtonator has that great GX attached to attack. And, you know, it's um, it's got its great, you know, dual attachment attack. That I forget the name of it right off the top of my head, but it does any damage on the rebound. So uh, Kiawe, we all know what Kiawe does. There are going to be some, We'll talk about this when we get to the Turtonator, because um, that's just, that's just, anyway, um, both the Alu and Marowaks that are out there, FLI or Forbidden Light or Crimson Invasion, uh, I can see both of those seeing some more use, and uh, even ho -O -G -X. So if you remember like a year ago, everybody was talking, oh, ho -O -G -X. oh, that's got to be the worst GX attack ever. Um, I couldn't even remember the name of it. Can you remember the name of ho -O -G -X attack? That's your question of the day. And the answer is, oops, oh, I gotta get out. I actually uh, brought it up so that uh, you can see. There we go. <laughs> Eternal Light GX. <laughs> Put any three, any combination of G Poke Fire Pokemon GX from your discard pile onto your bench. Could definitely see some, some use. Um, Definitely something that could uh, come into use here in the new meta. All right, so Charizard is the first one we'll talk about here. Um, 
I was really excited about this because you look at this, it's 130 for three attachments. Meh. But its ability allows you to do 30 more damage for every e EX or GX Pokemon your opponent has in play. So, you know, a couple of Zoroark GXs, a Tapu Lele, and all of a sudden you're doing 220. So, uh, obviously, if you've followed my writing or, you know, paid attention to anything that I've done over the last week or so, um, you it's clear to me that we live in a Shrine of Punishment era. The Shrine has descended. It's upon us. It's going to... It, you can't you can't do any theory mon without starting with Shrine of Punishments. Um, GX Pokemon, and, and I'll, I'll only rail about this once here, GX Pokemon are becoming unplayable. I've said this multiple times. Um, there's no doubt in my mind. Um, so, I'm a little bit less excited about Charizard as I was a couple weeks ago <laughs> because of Shrine of Punishments. So, but again, you could run Shrine with this, and if you do come across GX Pokemon, <laughs> man, you're, you're really you're really doing some serious damage to them. So. Victini Prism. Um, as we're going to see, there, there's some Pokemon coming up that discard fire energy. Um, this would pair greatly with them in that you know it does 20 damage times the number of basic energy cards in your discard pile, and it's you know it's it, it here it does say basic energy energy energy, um, so it could be others, um, but it does take looks like two fire attachments, so it's probably just going to be used in fire decks. But um, if you discard 10 fire energy, it's 200 damage. So. And kind of a perfect attack for a prism card, which you will only be able to use once, because then it'll just be recycled into the lost zone, and then but your card, your fire, your fire cards still get recycled back into your deck. That may not be so good because there seem to be more Pokemon that can reload energy through attacks from the discard, but we'll see. Uh, one of those is Darmanitan. Um, he actually attaches from your hand, um, which is good. You'll see for here in a little bit. Uh, but for a single attachment, you get to attach three fire energy. I mean, that's better than Volca baby Volcanian. Um, so um, it's got kind of a flip teeny kind of attack, too, that could be um, decent. But um, Rush Ram GX, you know, again, trying to punishments aside. This isn't a bad Pokemon. Um, you know, he can power himself up. Um, the uh, Vermilion GX probably is a really good... Uh, it takes four energy, but you can attach five energy from your hand. Again, this is important to realize. This is from your hand to your Pokemon any way you like. Um, so I don't know how much this is going to see, especially in a Shrine of Punishments era. Um, I like the Salazzle, just the idea of this, um, your opponent's active Pokemon is now burned and can attack. <laughs> so, um, the burn is good. There's also a stadium and I'm, I'm not really going to talk about it much here. There's a stadium well of a volcano park, um, that, um, that, uh, that makes your opponent stay burned, even if they flip heads. Um, so you know, that could be good with this. Um, but, you know, there's no more float stone. You know, so it's going to be harder to get Pokemon in and out of the active position. So to have your defending Pokemon, to have your Pokemon that's in the active not be able to attack could potentially be a good starter setup kind of um, um attack at the beginning of the game to stall your opponent and help you get up set, set up more quickly. Because there's no question that all of these fire Pokemon need need time to get set up. Um, this one is actually a dragon Pokemon, but if you look, it has all fire. So it's a dragon and it has only fire energy, so it doesn't have multiple different types that it needs. Um, the, big, the big thing here, 50 times the damage and you may discard any number of fire energy attached to your Pokemon. So, obviously, the first thing you think of is, 
you turn over Turnator, turn one, you key away, turn three, you're doing minimum 200, maybe 250, maybe even 300 damage on turn three. So, I mean, that's all I gotta say. I mean, this, this Pokemon to me looks like it could be the best attacker coming out of this set. I don't know, but you just, you think about it, and there's some serious, there's some serious potential coming out of this card. So I, I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a hundred percent sold on it, but you know, like I said, turn one Kiawe, turn three, 200, 250, 300 damage. That's more than Night March ever did, but we'll see. It's definitely something I'm sure that a lot of people will try out. Um, we'll see how it works. Uh, Flint, um, so as we've mentioned already, there are a number of Pokemon who attach from the hand, like Tarmanitan, and I think it was Reshiram GX. Um, this lets you search your deck, not your discard, but your deck, for four fire energy and put them into your hand so that you can potentially, you know, use an attack to attach them in the next turn. So definitely something that will probably be a four of in fire decks. Blaine's Explosive Bat. Okay, so when I first saw this, I didn't see the fine print. <laughs> but you can only play this card if it is the only card in your hand. However, with Ultra Ball, you know, um, with other cards that allow you to, um, like Sophocles, um, Metabolele, I mean, it's not going to be impossible for you to get this card and have it be the only card in your hand. I would say it is very likely that you'd be able to do this in the course of a game. I don't think this is going to be a four-off by any means, but definitely it'll be a one-off in fire decks, and it's not impossible. Like I said, not impossible to think that you might not be able to play this every game at least once. Um, just, you know, potentially 12 cards. Um, you know, <laughs> what is that? Uh, 18 and expanded. So this could be a really, really good card. Alright, so now we're going to move on to the dragon types. Um, there, there's still some good dragon types coming out of here, not as many as the fire types, though. Um, like I said, I did include Turtonator into the fire um, Pokemon. Uh, Dragonite GX. Um, this looks like a good Pokemon. Um, it's like four attachments to get um, Giga Impact, and then it can't attack the next turn. It's not great. Um, dragon Porter GX, though, um, for three attachments, um, or a double colorless and one attachment, um, put three um, Pokemon, Dragon Pokemon, from your discard pile onto your bench, just like Eternal Light from uh, Ho-Oh GX. And again, just like, I mean, it's any any three Pokemon. So if you have Stage 2s down there, um, down in your discard, you can definitely put them on your bench. So. Altaria, um, definitely going to be um, definitely going to be seen in a lot of dragon decks, including current Ultra Necrozma and um, Rayquaza GX. I'm pretty sure um, uh, I, the way it looks like this. This looks like it's just like um, uh, Lorantis, Promo Lorantis. So it looks like um, this will probably stack. So if you get two or three of these out there. You could be doing potentially 40 or even 60 additional damage. Um, so this definitely looks like um, it'll see some play in a variety of different um, dragon archetypes. Uh, White Chiron GX um, looks like a good good GX. You know, um, you know the, the you know four attachments for the GX attack, but will almost certainly OHK Oko. You know the the opponents, it's just, it's got the crazy, um, the crazy different fire and water type, um, that you need. Um, but there'll be some, there'll be some things, um, later on that might, um, make that easier. Um, Alteria, 
this might see, but I kind of doubt it, but it might, um, its ability prevent all effects of your opponent's uh, attacks except damage done to your Poke dragon Pokemon. So no poison, no burning, no uh, paralysis, etc. Dragon's Talon. Um, you know, this could be good if, if the dragon Pokemon this tool is attached as your active Pokemon is damaged. Put three damage counters on the attacking Pokemon. You know, could potentially be good. Uh, Zinnia, this definitely will be good. Um, if one of your Pokemon, that's any Pokemon, that's necessarily just a dragon Pokemon. So you could start with Dunsparce, and if they knock out Dunsparce, then you can attach two basic energy cards from your hand to one of your dragon Pokemon. So again, any two basic energy cards. So it could be fire, it could be water. You know, it doesn't, you know, it can be any that are in your hand. So that's potentially good. Lance Prism Star. Um, could be very good um, if, again, if you had a, any Pokemon knocked out. Again, it could be Dunsparce, you know, or something else. Then you get to search your deck, not just your discard, but your deck for any two Dragon Pokemon. Put them on your bench. And there's no, doesn't say basic, we're in stage one. If you have two, stage two Pokemon, you want to drop, drop them on your bench. There you go. You put two Altaria out there, an Altaria and a Flygon. Dragonite, you can just throw them down on your bench. So. Water types. So there's just a little bit of water here. Um, not very much at all. Um, oh, I forgot to change the name of that. It's not Altaria. It's Kingdra GX. Um, Kingdra GX. Um, so it's got a good attack. Um, so it does 50 more damage for each water energy attached. So obviously with one energy, it's 60, two energy, 110, 160, 210. Um, and then it also has 30 damage and switch this Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. So you could you know, potentially put something else up into the active, um, you know, maybe like a um, uh, Slay King. You know, this potentially could be used with Slay King, maybe, or, you know, some other Pokemon, um, like Puky Mewkyu or something that would, you know, potentially damage, or uh, maybe even like um, Glaceon GX or something. So there are some different, you know, possibilities here. And then Maelstrom, again, the whole these are just single attachment. Obviously, Hydro Pump's going to have more than one. But Maelstrom is just single attachment. It does 40 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. I mean, that's a great spread. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing a lot with spread decks lately, and this really caught my eye <laughs> for a single attachment. That's that's pretty good. Oh, shoot, I forgot to change this one. Too. My apologies. This is Quagsire. Um, its ability um, is basically what it's here for. You can move in a water energy from one of your bench Pokemon to one of your active Pokemon. Um, as often as you like during your turn. So if you use a couple Aqua Patches, you can put both of those instantly up on your Kingdra GX. You're doing 100 more damage. So uh, definitely, um, definitely a good ability. And it also says, um, and, and so so it's definitely, you know, it's, it's going to you know, be something that's used in water archetypes. Um, that's about it. There really, there's not too much more in this deck. Like I said, there aren't any cards that you absolutely need. But you know, if you get these cards, they'll be fun to play with. They'll be fun to use. Some of them are going to be good. Uh, again, there's no Zoroark GX in this in this set, but there are a lot of good cards that, that I'm, def I'm sure you'll definitely see. And like I said, you know, we get a week, a week in the new meta, and then. Dragon Medicine descends upon us, so it's going to be a quick transition. So, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Check out PokedexCentral.com. Uh, we always have really uh, interesting ideas um, and <laughs> really good decks that will help you win games. So, all right, thanks. Catch you later.